back like we never left as we here with another live reaction to legend of the northern blade this week we're reading chapters 53 to 55 so you know the vibes last chapter the cliffhanger was our boy Jin and his group the iron brigade or whatever get to the valley of despair we're finally here so now we're gonna see if uncle is here if he's alive what's going on with him so let's see hop into it i'm ready legend of the northern blade chapter 53 let's go let's see where uncle's at bro so we start off right where we left off. Our group reaches finally the Valley of Despair. What a name, by the way. The Valley of Despair, bro. What an eerie place. These mountains give off something, so giving off a quite a fury, a frightening aura. This isn't a place for ordinary people to enter. Captain Gong. Hmm? He's what? Starting now, I think it's best that we split up. The energy from those mountains is not normal. Since we don't know what dangers lie ahead of us, I apologize since you guys came this far. But would you would it be possible for the White Dragon Merchant Troop to head back to the tavern? Hmm? Oh. So they're leaving the merchants. Like, you know what? We can't, we can't handle taking care of you guys in this fucking mountains because they look too crazy. Okay. I promise we'll do our best to rescue everyone. So please head back and prepare a nice welcome feast for us. <laughs> I see. If that's the case, we'll do as you ask. But please make sure to be careful. We shall pray for your success. Okay. Mu Huan, yes, leader. We shall begin our search. We'll have senior brother Im and senior brother Hong as our vanguard, as they are highly skilled in tracing, okay? Let's see. This isn't your usual mountain. So again, they keep reiterating that this isn't your usual mountain, you know? Wherever they're at, these mountains are not normal. The ones protecting our flanks shall be Xiao Jin and senior brother Gong. Leave it to me. Yes, sir. And the ones protecting our rear shall be Song Yul and Shredder. I'm weak. I'm, everybody else has a has an, a regular name, and the dude's name is Shredder. <laughs> That's so funny. Everyone has, you know, brother Gong, you know, Xiao Jin. You know, Song Yu, like regular Korean names, you know? Like we seen throughout the whole story. Then we have Shredder. <laughs> I'm weak. I don't know where you where you position me. I just want to go home already. I'm weak. This guy is like, I'm gonna get out of here, bro. Are you purposely putting me towards the rear just because I stabbed your leg by accident? Oh my god. <laughs> this man said like, I stabbed you by accident? I'm pretty sure my eyes were playing tricks on me. Yup. There's no way she has something that enormous. I'm crying. This man is still talking about his dong. Whoa. What are you impressed about, kid? Make sure to stay focused at all times. I'm certain there is something lurking in these mountains. Obviously, bro. You're an interesting person. He goes, hmm? So the vice leader... Or, I don't know if she's the vice leader, but she was kind of helping out old boy. And she she piece piece up. She's like, you're fucking interesting, bro. And Jin's like, what? There are times where you are a stubborn and an upright person. But other times, you also know how to be a compassionate and understanding person as well. Even though you look like you have nothing, it seems you possess martial arts that are strong enough to earn you the title of the Northern Blade. Oh, Jin, it's highly likely that you'll become even more renowned than before. Because of that, it's also likely that you'll end up being consumed by that. Don't let pride cloud yourself. Ooh, she gave him the bars too. Don't let pride cloud yourself. Make sure to maintain the self that you are now. If you don't, 
you'll end up hurting not only yourself, but the people around you as well. Mm. But I'm sure you'll be fine. She dips off. Okay, yeah, she is vice leader. Okay, I was, I was, you know, I forgot, but she is vice leader. Thank you for your words, vice leader Chai. Hey, okay, Liddy. Liddy. So we cut away. We see a nice shot of these crazy mountains, bro. And yo, these, they're huge. Because you see, like, the group of little, like, the group right here, and they're tiny as hell, bro. So this is the Valley of Despair. It would seem that, it would seem that way. The eerie aura has gotten much stronger than before. Even if the sorrowful mountains are known to be shrouded in yin energy, this much is quite excessive. Okay. Interesting. So he's like, even if these sorrowful mountains were like, did have a kind of like sad energy, a bad aura, this having it having this much is kind of a lot, which I, I understand. The clouds are usually uh, are unusually concentrated in a particular area. If I had to guess, this is some form of an illusion, some form of an illusion. Excuse me, illusion. Do you think you can break through it? I know you're pretty skilled in illusionary arts, right? Hmm. He thinks to himself, he's like, oh, I don't know, man. It seems to be a mixture of the illusionary art of the universal labyrinth and the illusionary art of the um, the uh, Myrian, the Myrian shadows. If that's the case, we'll need to position people in the northwest and northeast locations and have them look for an object that can function as a key and move it. Okay. Afterwards, we'll need to forcefully apply a counter illusion. No, wait. Before that, we'll need to evenly disperse the destructive force within a with widespread area in order to maximize uh, e efficacy, okay? So he's, so it's really some kind of illusion? So what's gonna happen if they're able to break his illusion, bro? That's my question. Just a little bit over there. There you go. Senior sister. Don't move until I give this sign. Just hurry up, you little shit. <laughs> and she's over there. Vice Leader's over there with a big ass rock over her head, like, you better hurry up. This man <sighs> centers himself. Ha! Ah. This is taking longer than I expected. I guess that it just means this illusionary is more difficult than than what it lets on, okay? Illusionary art. If it's him, I'm sure he could easily break through this. Mm. I had a feeling I would require his assist assistance. I wonder what he's up to now. This guy is straining himself, bro. Oh, fuck. So, okay, so we see a giant, like, hole in the cave open up with a bunch of pillars now. This. What the hell is this place? Oh, my God. So, we see this dude over here sweating, bro. The leader of the armor brigade, he's already got a beat of sweat. He nervous. So, they go in the cave. Shit is dark, bro. There's just a dark-ass cave with pillars holding it up. We don't know what's ahead of us, so make sure to stay on guard. Okay, so they're walking in. They get they stop at something. Is he surprised? Like what? There seems to be something over there. What is this? A Buddhist? Was this a Buddhist temple at some point? So they come across some kind of like broken statue, like a half Buddha or something. Why do I feel like there are ghosts lurking around this place? I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> okay what is this they're the people who were kidnapped the sorrowful mountains valley of despair 
please head to that place. There are a lot more merchants and bodyguards at that place. I sincerely hope your uncle is there. He was telling the truth. So Dan, Danny Ope wasn't lying when he said there was a bunch more of these prisoners in the in the Valley of Despairs. They're the merchants and bodyguards who went missing. Thankfully, it seems they're still alive. But what happened to them? It looks like they're in the process of turning into madmen. I heard these madmen are quite violent and attack you like beasts. Yup. Yup. It seems these people haven't fully turned into those madmen just yet. So do they have a reversal? Do we have to go back to the Tang family? To try and get a reversal? That's, my, that's where my head is at. These madmen. Just what kind of monster did this to them? And then we see a bunch of the people. They're still alive. They haven't really fully turned to monsters yet. They're all just laying there, but their eyes are fully red. Fully red. No pupils, nothing. It's a red, a red eye, bro. Insane. <laughs> I was able to slow down the spread of poison due to the three funda um, foundational cultivation technique. But it seems I reached my limit. I wonder how much longer I can last. It would seem just like my comrades who turned insane. I guess I'll end up becoming just like them. <sighs> oh my God. Don't tell me this is uncle's monologue, bro. Don't tell me this is uncle talking. So we're getting some kind of monologue here. The teachings that I personally learned from my sect leader. Yo, Kilby, what's happening, brother? The teachings I personally learned from my sect leader. The three foundational cultivation technique. Is it really all I should some surmount to? It's Unk thinking? Oh my gosh. Mr. Huang Chiu, even in death. You're still talentless as ever. Mr. Wang. Huh? Haha. <laughs> I guess now I'm yearning my death. I'm starting to hallucinate. Mr. Wang. Huh? You dropped it? Dude, it's fire, man. Huh? Scars guy, what's up, brother? Huh? And then boom, he opens, he opens his eyes. And what he, he, he opens eyes we thinks to see is Jin's dad. But we know he's about to open his eyes and see Jin. He opens his eyes. He thinks he sees the sect leader. He goes sect leader. But then, oh, this panel, gorgeous. We see Jin reaching down. Reaching his hand out to Mr. Huang, trying to raise him up. And then in the silhouette, we see his pops, the sec leader. Ooh! Yeah, I could see that the art style. I could, I could see that. That's fair. I like it, though, bro. I like it, bro. What? So we see Uncle is has been holding on. Because of this breathing technique, he's been able to not fully turn. He's only half. We see only one eye is fully red and shit. Uncle, let's go, Unc. You, you young master? And then, oh, we just see a huge embrace from Jin into Uncle. We just grabs him. Big ass hug, bro. Oh, what a way to end this chapter. We got him back, bro. We got him back. Let's hope he's, he's okay, though. He's only half turned. Let's hope we could we could fully cure the man, bro. But I'm glad he's safe. Let's go. Let's go. Young master? Forgive me, Mr. Huang. I hope I wasn't too late. I've been careless this whole time. Because of that, I've put you in danger. 
Why are, why is the young master here? How could I not come after you when I found out that you disappeared? I honestly believe that no one, I would never see the young master again. This isn't a dream, right? Here, Mr. Huang, please, please eat this first. This is the crimson silver spiritual pill that's been handmade by the Tang family, Tang family's 10,000 poison master, okay? So we don't even have to go back to the Tang family. That's what I thought last year. We, Jin has something from the Tang family that I forgot he gave them. He's gonna give the uncle now. Let's fucking go. What? The Tang family's 10,000 poison master? How did someone like him become acquainted with the young master? It's a renowned spiritual pill. It's able to cure over 10,000 poisons, and it's also able to strengthen your internal key. In any case, do you know what happened at this place? Aside from you, it seems nobody was able to maintain their consciousness. Okay, so Uncle was the only one to able, who was able to remain sane in this moment. Everyone else has gone off the deep end. Crazy. That's because, how many months has it been? My memory is foggy, but all I remember is that we were just about to reach the province of Unam, when we were suddenly ambushed by unknown bandits and we were kidnapped by them. Yup, obviously we see the crimson ghost guy. I finished administering the poison to the recent captives. Good work. The ones that have fully turned into madmen soon shall soon be released outside. Be sure to separate those people from the rest. And we see a bunch of the motherfuckers already turned instantly to the madmen. But the ones that are currently under transformation are going to be isolated in this cell. And then we see Huang just there sweating. But thanks to the fact that I didn't completely lose my senses, that I was able to forcefully block my blood flow, which allowed me to slow, oh, that's fire. That's fire. I was forcefully able to block off my blood flow, which allowed me to slow the spread of poison. So the nigga just, so uncle just tapped himself a few times in a, some pressure points and like slowed that shit down. And that's how he was able to last so long. Uncle grips his fist. However, if I moved ever so slightly, the blood that I, the blood that had been gain, be, been barely blocked off would eventually be undone and the poison would rapidly spread. So I had no choice but to hold still. The only thing I could do was to fervent, um, ferv uh, fervently meditate the teachings of the three, fo three foundational cultivation technique, which allowed me to barely hold on to my life. That's insane, bro. He didn't move for months. He was in this meditating for months, just not being able to move. Because since he blocked off the blood flow, if he moved and it became unblocked, it would the poison would just rush through his body. It'd be over. <sighs> Yo, uncle, he's talking about talentless. He's speaking to himself, talking about like, oh, even in death, you're talentless, Mr. Huang. Like, bro, what do you mean talentless? It's that's insane. Bruv. Isn't the three foundational uh, cultivation technique a part of the Kwanzaa sex Taoist teachings that specialize in anti-demonic energy? Yes. I believe this is why I didn't fully transform into a beast. Yo, facts. The will to survive at its peak for sure. Like, that's different. However, I was just about to give up since I was soon reaching my limit. 
I, I never expected a young master to show up like this. Sec leader Jin Kwan Ho was the one who took me in. And the young master is the one who saved me. I, Huang Chu, have no regrets if I were to die today. Sheesh. So the dude's like, your pops took me in. And then you came and saved me. Like, if I was to pass away somehow, I'd have no regrets, bro. I did all I could for y'all. It seems the special cultivation technique from the Kwanzaa sex Taoist teachings was what really protected Mr. Huang. Please don't say that. Hurry and circulate the spiritual pill, Mr. Huang. Thank you, young master. He eats the pill. Ah! This is the third... This is the third master of the White Dragon Merchant Troop, Yun Jia Myung. I did my best to slowly move the third, third young master to his place while avoiding the eyes of our captors. Okay. It was a good thing he was close. He was close to where I was. Okay. But it seems he was just able. He was just about consumed by the poison. All right. I expect it as much. So that's the third young master of the White Dragon Merchant Troop, Yun Jia Myung. I also blocked off the flow of his blood and did him and hid him behind me. Ooh. But that was all I could do for him. So Unk actually hid the white the Merchant Troop guy as well. So is he still alive also? Well, I guess he has he not moved as well? Was he just knocked out? Huh. Interesting. You're impressive, Mr. Huang. Even in that state, you were able to do something like this. Holy shit! Mr. Huang! You see, Moon Jang pulls up. He's like, holy shit! <laughs> Are you okay? I can't believe this. I'm so glad you're safe. Oh my, who is this? Isn't this Moon Jang? You're here as well? Moon Jang, you really grown. Huh? And then we see Moon Jang got tears in his eyes, bro. Isn't this, isn't that this person? Leader Young, we found him. Okay. So they call over the, the Iron Brigade and they found the Drip Merchant Troop guy. Even though the third young master is suffering from the effects of the poison, we were still able to recover him. As for the rest, um, distinguish them by the uniform they're wearing and separate them into two groups, the bodyguard group and the merchant group. Afterwards, we'll line them up and move them outside. Iron Brigade, we're almost done with our mission. Our reward is just within our grasp. All right, let's get to work. All right, this fucking leader, leader Yong, bro. How are you feeling? Are you okay to move? Jin talking to um, Uncle, Huang, Uncle Huang. It seems most of the effects of the poison have diminished. I should be fine now. But I must say, the spiritual pill you gave me is quite something. Can thank you very much, young master. No need to thank me, Mr. Huang. It's all because of your hard efforts. True, bro. Like, you, you gotta understand. If if Unk didn't have the reason to the will to live and didn't hold on for this long, Jin wouldn't have a ch wouldn't have had a chance to even save him, you know. So we can't just put all the all the praise on to what's his face onto Jin. We can't do that. Bro, I can't, I really can't believe this boy Uncle really fucking survive like still held still for months crazy bro crazy bro we should be able to rest to cure the rest of the poison once we leave this place i know someone who is quite skilled in the uses of poison and they're currently developing an antidote in jade city you see we see elder, Tw elder tang is like hey 
Hey. <laughs> you'll, you'll make a full recovery with the help of this person. The same goes for the people of the White Dragon Merchant Troop. My goodness, words can't describe how thankful I am for you, young master. Moon Jang, give the blade that we brought in we brought in Jade City to Mr. Huang. Huh? What, this? Ooh, okay. So this is the blade that he he picked up before. I didn't think he bought that. I can't remember if he did. Well, he obviously did, but I forgot about it. A heavier sword is suited for people who have learned the three foundational cultivation technique. And and it just so happened that there are a, it was a decent blade in the market when we were acquiring information regarding your whereabouts. I'm sure you'll make I'll make sure to refine that blade when I get the chance as well. Ah, really? Thank you, young master. It seems the only thing I can do is I can do is thank you. Uh, this is though this is why you told me to buy this back then. You see? I low-key forgot. He bought that shit. Hey, wait. Come with me for a second. Okay, so we see Chang in. Take a look at this. I'm pretty sure this is the cause of madmen. Of the madmen. Oh. It's some sort of like a stone? What the fuck is that? Oh, it's got some intense venomous key. What did I tell you? For normal people, the moment they're exposed to this venomous key, they will probably become lightheaded and faint immediately. I guess this is the source, right? Oh my God. So it's some kind of like stone or rock? Yeah, some kind of chemical shit. Like, I'm not sure what exactly it is. It looks like a rock, some kind of solid, you know? Since we're not quite sure, I'm going to take a piece of this thing and take it back to the Black Moon. Good idea. Are you going to be okay? Don't worry. Behold, the ancient hide of a deer that's been dried over a hundred years. Just kidding. I have no clue what this leather pouch is made of. In any case, I just need to carefully seal off the pouch and I should be fine. <laughs> I think I said, ah, the ancient hide of a deer dried for a hundred years. Like, bro, shut up. It's a regular ass pouch. Hmm? Oh my God. Who is this? Is this the Central Heavenly Alliance? Is there, are they pulling up on some fuckery? Bro, so we see a bunch of motherfuckers pop up, white robes, a bunch of them. You know, this is not, you know, this is suspect. It's, oh, it's their dogs. Okay, got you. Elder Tang and Lady Tang. Cough. Eh? What's going on over here? Cough. What have you, how have you been, Master Jen? These men, these men are from the, you see? the administrative division of the Central Heavenly Alliance. I am Jiok Mu from the Central Heavenly Alliance's Investigative Bureau. I go by Jin. Greetings, Master Jin. It is an honor to meet the new rising star of the mainlands. That just sounds like, the way I'm reading what he's saying, it just sounds condescending, bro. You know what I mean? Oh, it's an honor to meet the new rising star of the mainlands. Like, bitch. Why you sound like that? In lieu of the Central Heavenly Alliance, I would like to express my gratitude for what Master Jin had done for us. It was thanks to you that the situation in Jade City was quickly resolved. Now, please allow the Central Heavenly Alliance to take care of this issue. We're fully aware that Master Jin is an outstanding figure. However, this is not a task for one person to shoulder on their own. Not to mention, this issue also involves the Silent Knight. Okay. As for the Iron Brigade, 
we are well aware of how skilled and respected of a group you are. But I believe this issue is beyond the range of your scope. It is an issue that re uh, requires the strength of many. Nigga sounds whack. So please, allow us to handle it from here, from here on out, and have a safe return back home. Master Jin and the Iron Brigade have done more than enough already. The Central Heavenly Alliance shall never forget your courageous deeds. So what are they plotting, bro? They're gonna try and swoop in and hide shit. They're gonna swoop in, try and hide evidence, flip the story. You know how these, these governing bodies do in any story. They're trying to flip the, flip the script. Some bullshit, bro. What the hell is that? The hell is this? Are they planning to take credit for the situation, even though we're the ones who did most of the work? Exactly. Ah, shit. I worked hard separating those guys into respective groups. Then are you implying that you know how to cure these madmen? We can't trust them, bro. Like, we cannot trust them at all. Actually, even before we requested the assistance of the Tang family, we've been researching a cure for this poison ourselves. Tch, we're requesting our assistance, my ass. I assure you that we are very close to creating an antidote. It's only a matter of time. Please trust us. I cannot trust you, bro. You're suspect. You are so sus. It's unbelievable. Hold on. May I ask what's that? what the box is? I'm sensing quite an atrocious amount of venomous key. I believe whatever's inside that box is related to the symptoms of these madmen, correct? You can leave that here with us as well. We'll be the ones to analyze it. Psych? Exa Yo, exactly. How could you possibly trust that face of this guy? Hell no. Jin looks at him. And Jin, okay, Jin, Jin looked at Elder Tang. He's like, should I give this to him, bro? Because Jin is ready to scrap. He ain't playing. He could probably, I got faith that Jin most likely could handle this whole investigative bureau. I think he could handle them no problem. The only people I really see fucking with Jin right now in terms of strength are the people from the Silent Night, like these kind of Lord dudes, you know? Or someone of that kind of caliber. A Dan Yope type, you know? They're kind of, you know? These dudes, he's packing them up. So we look at Elder Tang like, bro, should I do this? Elder Tang is like, ah, whatever. Just fucking give it to him, bro. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? He can fuck them all up. No, no problem. Then we'll leave everything entirely in your care and shall pray for your success. Master Jin. We are the Central Heavenly Alliance. Let me repeat once more time. Once more. The Central Heavenly Alliance. I am the Iron Brigade's Vice Captain, Mu Huan, of Unending Wit. Allow me to express our honor and gratitude, gratitude for the Central Heavenly Alliance to be the ones to take responsibility for this issue. We shall heed your words and take our leave. However, we shall take the third young master of the White Dragon Merchant Troop with us. In truth, our mission was to recover everyone which included the bodyguards, but our first priority was to recover the third young master, okay? In order to signify that we have completed our mission, we hope that you would make an exception and allow us to take thus just the third young master with us. Hmm. Unfortunately, that will not be. Leave it to me. I'll be the one to take care of that man. And mm, Tang pulls up. Let's get it. Bang, bang. Tang steps out. Let's go. In the first place, our task as a Tang family ended at Jade City. The only reason we didn't return back home and followed you guys to this place was for personal reasons. 
as I wanted to take a closer look at the madman. Mm. So we'll take our leave now and I'll make sure to treat the third young master on our way back home. What? Since you guys did a splendid job of using the Tang family as your bait, shouldn't you at least grant us this exception, bitch ass? He's, uh, he goes, I see. If you require fur further medical assistance, please do not hesitate to send him to us. The Central Heavenly Alliance. Why you keep saying the name like that? Is that supposed to be some kind of fear tactic? Am I supposed to be nervous now that you keep saying the name so much? Like, bro, we know where you're from, bro. We know. Like, it's just weird. <laughs> Requiring further assistance? You guys are the ones who will soon be asking for my assistance. Just you wait. Then, until next time. Since this issue is more than of an urgent matter, we'll temporarily overlook everything that you've done. However, since you were directly involved in the situation regarding Jade City, we will soon require you, require you to follow our investigation process, Master Jim. These niggas is so whack. So yes, until next time, have a safe trip back home. Yo, I wish Jin would just kill this guy, bro. Like, Jin, just smoke this guy already, bro. Pack him up. Seriously. Yeah, that's what it seemed like. He's nothing without the fucking, without this, this alliance, bro. Come on. They dip off. These fucking. What the hell are you guys doing? Search for anything that might provide some sort of information or clue. Make sure to prepare a transfer system for these lunatic bastards as well. Hurry up and get to it. That man was one step ahead of the Central Heavenly Alliance. Ah, this isn't right. Not right indeed. Not only did he subjugate the bastards of the Central Silent Night on his own, he was also able to rescue the people that were kidnapped. The Central Heavenly Alliance should have been the one to take full credit regarding the situation, as it would, be, would have allowed us to gain more power and influence over the hearts of people. You see, th these governing bodies are all, they're so suspect, bro. Look at he's talking like, yo, we were trying to take full credit of this so we can earn more respect in the hearts of the public so we can keep deceiving them and getting money. Bro, we cannot trust these guys, bro. At all. You're fucking ridiculous. But at least we'll be able to take credit for the safe recovery and administration of aid of these captives the northern blade as soon as we complete our task here i shall make sure to thoroughly dig into your background silent night what a fun little prank you pulled on us it's thanks to you bastards that we'll be temporarily put into a troublesome situation okay so we cut away from this guy bro Oh, fuck. So we cut away to wherever the Silent Night is at. The slums? I'm not sure where this is. The Undercity? I don't know. So we, we, we go back. This is perhaps Dan Yelp? Forgive me. It seems I was too late. In the end, it is what you intended, my little one. Who was it? Who the hell did this to my Dan Yope? Jin Mu Wan, the last descendant of the Northern Heavenly Sect. <laughs> of course, the Northern Heavenly Sect. To think our ill-fated relationship would bring us this far. As the Elder of the Silent Night, and one 
who stood on the battlefield as the thousand sounds of death. I shall request for a great assembly. Make sure all of the four great demon lords are present. Former thousand sounds of death, elder of the silent night, Yoon Chion Hak. So this is the guy who basically took in Dan Yop and taught him everything. And he's calling for some kind of commune now. So are we gonna see our girl, Ha Seol? You know? All right, let's keep going here, bro. Let's keep going here, bro. Take a sip of this water. Take a sip of this water. Bro. Bro, we cut away? Oh my God, I wanna see more of the Silent Night shit. So we cut away snowy mountains, some trees. See some sort of group of bandits rushing in somebody, they're going crazy. They instantly die. King King, someone with a swift movement just smokes them all. Holy shit. Who the fuck? Who is this? So boom, run! We need to get out of here. Ah, King King. They're both dead. Heads gone. She's throwing some chakrams, whatever they're called, chakrams. Little circle, like, um, circle swords. She's throwing them jaws, bro. And all you see is a massacre of bodies. Blood in the snow, making it red. Her standing, just bodies around them. What? So she does a kind of hand movement and just sends some kind of a snow blast at this guy or the blade and King cuts his head off. <sighs> she lets out a deep young breath. Kill the young miss of the witch of the white knight. That was what we, the Blue Flower Clan, had been hired to do. But as soon, but we soon came to realize that you were an opponent we could never defeat, which is why we gave up and ran. So do you really have to go this far? Because why? Regardless if you guys attacked me or ran away in fear, why should I let you live? Oh, please, can't you just let me live? Although I make a living taking the lives of others, I'm a father who has kids to take care of. Please spare me like a bitch. Why should she spare you, bro? Look what you just said. He's like, even though I make a living taking the lives of others, spare me though, you know? Me? How about you spare me, even though I've taken countless of lives? Spare me though, cause I'm different. Like, no, fuck you, guy. Enough! King chops it, throws the thing at him, and then blood spatter right in his face, right in his face. Jesus, young miss. Oh my God, it's fucking her, bro. So we knew it's Hasio, grown up, baby. Grown up, she looking sick. Ah, Saryong. These were the assassins that you sent after me, right? That you sent? I thought I told you last week that they're too weak. Can't you hire stronger assassins? I believe the young miss is just too strong. My liege has summoned you. Did she now? Trainer mode? Yeah, crazy, yo. She's like, did she now? We cut away. 
We see you. This panel is fucking gorgeous, bro. Of standing on the top of a tree, peak of a tree, with the moon, with the backlit fire. Did you call for me, master? You're finally here. It's only a matter of time before you perfect the technique. The silver light of ice crystals, of the ice crystals. Now, your little, your title as a possessor of the white knight is most befitting. Ha Seol. Thank you, young master. And <laughs> we see she looks sick, bro. I love her design, bro. The white hair, yo, we don't know. Characters with white hair always, always are fire, always. Silent Knight, Possessor, Possessor of the White Knight, of the White Knight, Yun Ha Seo. So we call in the meeting now, right? I assume. Hmm. White Knight, you come, look, come look at this, come look at this. What is it? I'm sensing the key of a little boy and a little girl. Am I right? Yes, you're correct. Oh, uh -huh. to think that these two would still be alive at this desolate place. What an incredible life force they possess. He's a flashback. Oh, okay. Yeah, it went black. You're right. Good looking on that. I didn't notice, but the panels did go black. Yes, you're correct. Oh, uh -huh. to think that these two would still be alive at this desolate place. What an incredible life force they possess. But what is this? I also sense the eyes of these kids are as deep as the abyss that holds the, the as the abyss and the hold the sea of the deep. Aside from the desire to survive, they're practically empty, poor, empty, poor things. Tisk tisk. So we see a homegirl here. Oh, it's Daniel Penhasio. I did not know that. Oh, fuck. As adults, we are ashamed. You kids did nothing wrong. It's unfortunate that you young ones had to be born in these turbulent times. Early years, yeah, facts. Why don't you come with me? <gasps> Stop. She turns around and then she grabs her. Oh. And Hasio just grabs the cloak, bruv, of the previous white knight. Oh. Look at her. She has no fear to think she blatantly grabbed the helms of the processor, possessor of the white knight. Nothing lasts forever in this world. You're going to eventually need someone to pass on your technique, the silver light of the ice crystals. I've already decided to take in this kid and teach him my technique, Thousand Sound the of death so now we see the confirmation of it is ha Seol and dan yope i'll see you around i'll be expecting great news from you oh let's go kiddo sa young yes my lady this child take her and get her evaluated check and see if she has the required me um Meridians. Shit, she got a tiny, bro. The more painful, the more painful her test is, the better it is for her. The better she is for us. If she can't withstand the pain and die, then that was the extent of her talent. However, if she is able to endure it and survive till the end, only then will I take her as my disciple. Okay, so she got put through a way harder test, bro, than Dan Yoke. It looks like her memory is foggy, but just to be safe, 
Make sure to erase all her memories of this incident. As you wish, milady. As for her name, Ha Xiu. Yes, let's go with that. Ha Xiu, do you despise me? How can I, a mere disciple, how can I, a mere disciple, say such things? It's fine. I was once the same as you. I despise my master who mercilessly, trained, who mercilessly trained me. Not to mention, the more that we train in our teaching, the more we become numb to our desires and emotions as well. Because of this, you'll start to question whether or not you are a human being. However, you must never doubt yourself. Just because you can no longer feel your human emotions does not mean you are no longer human. Never forget that you are the possessor of the white knight, Hasil. I shall, I shall always keep that in mind, master. In order, the order for the great assembly has been issued. So she goes, what? She perks up like, huh? As you already know, the only time that the great assembly can be issued is when the fate of the Silent Knight is at stake. Due to the nature of the great assembly, it can take months before I can return back to the mainland. It seems we'll soon enter into chaos. The finalization of this order will take about three months, okay? So until, until then, enjoy your time. Because after this, my personal time will cease to exist. To allies, you will be known. Oh, okay, sorry. Because after this, any, not any personal time will cease to exist. To allies, you will be known as the possessor, the possessor of the White Knight. And to enemies, you will be known as the Witch of the White Knight. That will become a life you'll have to live. For all the, these years, you did well in during my teaching without break. This will be the first and last time that I shall ever grant this for you. Think of this as my gift to you as your master and go enjoy your time. Oh, so she leaves. A temporary personal time for myself. Aside from my master, Sa Young, the silver light of the Isle of Ice Crystals, training and fighting, I don't really have anything else. What should I be doing? So her life is literally her master, Sa Young, and then training. That's it. I don't have much memories of when I was younger. Ever since I started to train in the silver... But she still has the thing he gave her, right? That's the thing he made for her. In her hair. Ever since I started to train in the... I can't seem to remember much of anything. Even if they happened a few years in the past. But from time to time... Yes, she low-key kind of remembers his face. But from time to time, I have this distant yet vague memory. Ah, whatever. I really wish, I really wish you would just um, send more assassins after me, master. I feel like fighting is, is better at this point. How am I supposed to be enjoying my time? Yeah, it's, yeah, exactly. Like it was too powerful to just leave it entirely. So she gets glimpses and she still has the thing in her hair, bro. So what does she just not remember where she got it from? But we know Jin made that for her. This really is a hard task for me. Hmm. Hmm. Chaos. Whew. She jumps down from this, from this like tree. Okay. I guess I'll take one last look at the mainlands. 
and we see her she's flying gorgeous panel of her flying in the air and you see all these snowy mountains and shit since I'll have to destroy it eventually oh it's over fuck he's like I'll have to take one last look at the mainlands since I'll have to destroy it eventually you think you gonna destroy you think so but we know our boy Jin gonna stop that Oh, I'm so happy we see her again, bro. I'm so happy we got to see her again. I'm really so happy. But man, I really wish, or when I really can't wait until we see them meet again, bro. When Jin and Hasio meet again, bro, it's gonna be crazy. I can't wait for that, bro. But no. Yeah, I was gonna say, would she find out beforehand because of this meeting? But she's not going to the meeting. So she won't find out beforehand. Man. Oh, fuck. Scarsguard? I didn't even put that together. Jin killed her brother. But does she even remember that he's, that Dan Yope was her brother? She might not even remember that, bro. Holy, the plot does thicken, dude. Wow. Wow. Crazy. Crazy, bro. I cannot wait to see what happens next. She does not. Oh my god. That's insane. I can't wait. Seeing her meet Jin and then getting more information on this meeting, this great assembly, is gonna be sick. Oh, this is getting spicy, bro. But if you made it to the end, I appreciate you so much. This John went crazy. Like I said, I'm super happy we see our girl again, bro. For real. But it if you enjoyed, please drop a like on the video. It really helped me a lot. Also, you know, sub to the channel because I'm bringing different live reactions every week. But yeah, I'm going to see y'all next time. Stay safe out in these streets and I'm going to see y'all soon. Peace.